Hi there, Andrew Jackson, AJ Design Studio. Um, I'm just put together this really quick video to show how to how to swap out the default uh, zebra stripe analysis. Um, instead of using the built-in zebra stripes, you can use a, a an image bitmap that um, you create in Photoshop. So anyway, so normally you go view, display, zebra stripes, which normally show the built-in default uh, zebra stripes. Now I'm not sure if the stripe is generated off a bitmap or something, but you get this kind of indistinct fade between the stripes, which in some areas, like when, when curvature is quite flat, it's hard to tell exactly what's going on. So a really, really easy way to um, get around this is go into your zebra stripes. I've got shortcut button Z. Uh, make sure you've got the, the quality on the higher setting and then environment drop down and you pick from file and so I have a file which is uh, just stripes that I've uh, made in Photoshop with no blur on the um, on the edges of the stripes I think that you do still get a little bit of blur but way less than uh, the built-in default zebra stripes so now you can sort of uh, you just get a little bit more um, resolution in the stripes and easier to see what's going on so uh, I'll put on the comments uh, not in the comments I'll put on the um, description of this video I'll put a link to the um, to a download for this for this image just to make it easier for anybody otherwise if you've got Photoshop it's really easy to make um, zebra stripes if you want thicker stripes thinner stripes or uh, you know any variation you can do it yourself in there all good thank you aj design studio andrew jackson